taking that field, Tom. Robbie Andrews out of New Jersey, one of only two juniors, is listed as the favorite. Young man that grew up listening to his dad talk about running here in the, in the garden. His dad ran in high school also as a collegiate athlete at Penn and also uh, as a master's athlete uh, earlier this evening. And his dad is his coach. That's Robbie Andrews from Manalapan, New Jersey, a junior in high school. And here are the competitors in the boys' high school mile. As you mentioned, Tom, 10 qualifying meets, mostly on the East Coast, where these athletes can run and be watched by the gentleman who puts this race together, Larry Byrne. And they're also used two or three other, pick two or three other hotshot athletes from across the country to bring them in to fill out this field. But an awfully prestigious opportunity to be able to come here to run as a high schooler at the Milrose Games. Nick Prince is the leader at the moment from Wissahickon, Pennsylvania. Pete Durrell, Blacksburg, Virginia, in second place. Kyle Merber from Half Hollow Hills West, New York. And then it's Charles White from Cherry Creek, Colorado. You mentioned Kyle Merber. He is the only New Yorker in the race from Long Island, so he'll have a, a local crowd here cheering him on. He was third in the Boston High School meet last week. Nick Fritz continues to lead Pete Durrell. And the first 400 meters time passed in 60 seconds. That's a pretty quick pace for this indoor track. Not easy running on the 11 lap mile track. 11 laps to the mile and on a highly banked track. And often we see jostling and people losing their balance in those banked turns. It takes uh, some skill to run these indoor tracks. It really does. And you know, as we watch the young men go around the track, you can kind of hear the crowd into this race. It was back in 1974 that someone suggested, let's try a high school boys mile. It was an instant hit. So tonight, they celebrate the 35th annual boys high school mile here in MSG. Pete Durrell has taken over the lead now. Pete Durrell listed as the dark horse, a young man with excellent strength. And he's taking that lead and taking a chance. So it's Pete Durrell, Charles White, and Nick Kritz. One, two, three at the moment. And Otto, for these high school athletes, it has to be such a thrill to compete in the garden, in front of a big crowd, and in front of uh, your idols in the track and field world. Tom, it really was. I never ran at Milrose until I was a pro, but I always remember a lot, so many of these high school kids coming up to us, they want to ask you anything. How many push-ups do you guys do in training? Because they know that to get to the next level, it all starts here. And this is really a great event for them to be able to run here at Madison Square Garden. Pete Durrell in front, Charles White in second, Kyle Merber now is third, Doug Smith is fourth, and Willie Ahern from Danbury, Connecticut starting to move up. And just for the sake of splits, uh, they pass through the 800 meters at 2.06. A very solid pace here. And all these young men wanting to show the world that they can handle not only the distance, but the great competitors at this great venue here in New York. Pete Durrell, Doug Smith in second, Charles Weiss in third, then Merber Ahern, Fritz dropping back. Durrell, the senior out of Blacksburg, Virginia. Number one prep two miler this year running 9.08, so he has great strength, but now Durrell being passed by Smith. So Doug Smith briefly had the lead. And now Robbie Andrews is coming to third place. He's the one we mentioned earlier. Robbie Andrews there with a moment that he's dreamed about for a long time, and now and now Merber is taking the lead, the New Yorker. Merber is in front. Andrews is second. Into the final lap. Merber from Half Hollow Hills, West New York, in front. Andrews can't catch him. Merber wins it. And what a moment for Kyle Merber, the only New Yorker in the race. And he's able to come through with that last 400 with a great kick and drop Robbie Andrews for a Bill Rose win. Up next, the greatly anticipated Wanamaker Mile featuring Bernard Lagat, the first man to win the 1500 and the 5000 at a World Championships. What a performance. And here comes Bernard Lagat. Look